In this video, we are going to be looking at the default skin and the named skins. Uh, a default skin is what we created in a previous video, which whenever we uh, set the the skin properties, the property, the skin properties to a control, it is going to be applied to every controls of a type. So when we set the uh, properties inside the skin files. We saw that he actually applied all the back colors and the uh, four colors and the border style to all the controls of the same type. So, for example, the skin file we created earlier for text boxes, all the properties we have defined will be applied to all text boxes in a page. This is called the default skin file. So, the default skin files will, will be applied to all the controls of the same type in a page. If we want to apply a different appearance to a particular text box or text boxes, we have to create a named skin file by specifying a skin ID attribute inside the skin definition. So uh, we what we have to do is just create another, uh, de another definition inside the skin file for the same uh, control. Then we, the only thing that we have to include is a property, another attribute which is the skin ID attribute which I'm going to show you a theme can only have can have only one default skin for each type of control so when you're creating a panel uh, skin file there can only be one panel default skin file so when you're creating a button um, skin file there can only be one button default skin file but you can but you can have as many named skin files as you want for each type of control. Each named skin file must have a unique skin ID property. So what that means is if you want to have, say for example, you want to have three or four types of uh, look and feels for your text boxes, so you can have a default skin files, which is going to be applied for every text boxes on the page, then you can have a named skin file you can have a skin file with a different skin ID attribute of say maybe white text boxes and that one is going to have a different look and feel then you can have another definition for text boxes which is going to have a black background they can have another skin ID attribute for another text box which is going to have a blue so let's actually go and look at an example in uh, let's look at an example so I have uh, if you look at the previous one that we created, let's let's look at this again. This is what we've created in a previous video. As you can see that the default skin file has been applied to all text boxes. So if you want to change, say for example, we want to have three types of uh, text boxes, it's possible by adding, we need to add uh, a name skin file to it. So if we go back to our theme, which is the theme one, so as you can see, well, I've, I've taken the time out to say ASP.NET text box for color. So this is the, the default one because it doesn't have a skin ID. So this will be applied to any text boxes that we did not specify the skin ID for. So this is the default skin file. So now I've created another uh, property for text box control, but now I've specified a skin ID. So because I said this one skin ID you can give it any name you want as long as a unique name uh, so I've said the four color as you can see the four color here is different from here and the back color this one is yellow instead of orange and every other thing is remains the same so if I want I can uh, let's let's do something let's actually create three types of text boxes that we can have in our page so now well, let's paste this here okay so now we want to call this one a pink text box so let's make this one to be pink pink text box so we want to change the uh, back color to be pink so that means every time we uh, apply this theme to our website all the text boxes we inherit this property except if we specify uh, a different skin id for them so let's go to our page now and uh, you will see that uh, we we'll still have the default skin applied to each of the text boxes they still have uh, the default one that is applied so but in order to have uh, our to have the different uh, color applied to them if we go back to the uh, page 
then if you select one if you select one any text box you can see that under the properties here it said the skin id so now let's look for a skin id let's apply the white text box to the first one and let's apply the pink text box to the last one so let's say this one we want it to be pink text box so the first one is white text box the last one is pink text box so let's run our website now and we should get a different look and feel so this is how you can change the as you can see now this one is now pink and this is yellow so but the default uh, skin i the default property for skin is applied to the rest of the text boxes 